At one family's long trip will finally end at Mitchell International Airport. And our Nick Montez joins us live from there with more. Hi, Nick. Hi, good morning, Vinny and Susan. Yeah, the end of a very long trip is in sight for this woman and her mother. They are expected here at Mitchell International this afternoon, and they will be very happy to be home. Ellison Raisin and her mom are heading home back from a nightmare at sea. The power went out, and that's when we were pretty much scared for our lives. We knew something was wrong. Very wrong. They had no power in their cabins, no water, and nowhere to go. And on board with 4,200 other passengers, our Steve Shamraz talked to them by phone. So you're one of the people we see under a white sheet on the deck. <laughs> Yep, that's us. They spent five days sleeping on the deck of the Carnival Triumph. The smell, it's just nasty, like sewer, and a lot of the cabin, um, the bathrooms, the toilets aren't working, so we have to go in showers, or they gave us red hazard bags to go in. They, along with other passengers on board, had to learn to kill time. They could see the land from the ship, but knew it would be hours before they got there. Every other time they tell us the time, it's been hours after, so we'll see. Yeah, certainly quite an ordeal for Allison and her mother. After they got off the ship, they had to grab a bus to Houston, and that's another five hours. Again, they'll be here this afternoon on your side in Milwaukee. Nick Montez, today's TMJ4. All right, Nick, thank you.